Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here, and welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. I'd like to stop and take the time to rank my top 5 Nia scenes. Please note that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, it is just my list. And you are free to comment down below your ranking of your top 5 Nia scenes, or you could just do your favorite. Like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the ranking. Kicking off my list at number 5, we have Nia vs. Klaus. I think this entire sequence right here is just gold. I mean, Nia is finally a fully fledged warrior. We've seen a little glimpses of her ninja skills in the past seasons, but in this sequence right here, we fully understand that yes, Nia is actually somebody that can go hand in hand with somebody else that has spent years of training. And you guys know how much I love hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences. Another reason why I love this sequence right here is the fact that it's just so well choreographed, it's well shot, and also there's no powers, there's no magic, just good old-fashioned hand-to-hand combat and really shows that Nia can hold her own in a fight against one of the most powerful beings inside of all the Ninjago. Coming in at number 4 for me has got to go to Nia's true potential. Now I love season 5. Season 5 is the top 3 Ninjago seasons for me. I just think that Nia's whole true potential thing was kind of rushed, in my opinion. I didn't really like the message that they were trying to portray. Like, she's fearing failure, so she just tries her best all the time. And when she fails, she just gives up. I kind of think that that is just so cliche. And it's weird to me why they would actually put such a cliche lesson inside of Ninjago. When all the ninjas had great true potentials because they actually dug deep inside of their character's psyche. Like Zayn learning about his past. Jay learning that he doesn't have to put on a facade and that he should just be who he is. Cole learning that his father and him still have a relationship together and Kai learning that his jealousy doesn't have to get the best of him and that he doesn't have to be jealous. I just think that Nia's whole arc is just so cliche and it's so weird to me but I think it's just awesome how she destroys that preeminent. She kills an entire realm and all of its inhabitants that means she has the highest kill count and come on Nia gets her true potential. What more could you want? Also one other thing I wanted to ask with all those water particles flying around why didn't Cole get hit? The, like, those are literally raindrops flying around the sky. Like, around where Cole is at. He's standing behind Nia. Why didn't he get hit? Like, logic is just thrown out the window for Nia. Kicking off my top three list has got to go to Nia Saves Destiny Bounty. Now, I love this scene for a number of reasons. Number one... Season 8 is just my favorite season, and I love the way that they fix Nia's character for me. I love the fact that she's so OP that she can actually control the rain to lift the Destiny's bounty up. That's one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in Ninjago, and top 3 coolest scenes that I have ever seen Nia do. And I think it's just so powerful for a character because... Wow, she just lifted the Destiny's bounty with rain. Like, this sequence right here shows that Nia is much stronger than we actually think. Our runner-up at number two has got to go to the Samurai X reveal. Nia reveals herself to Kai that she is the Samurai X, and it is a very powerful scene in my opinion. This scene right here made me like Nia even more than I already did. I mean, I did like her, but she was more the damsel in distress. This right here proved to me that Nia is capable of actually being a ninja and being part of the team in the future. And I think it's just so powerful for Nia because she never wanted to be a part of the boys club. But she just felt like being a part of the team just meant that she had to be a part of the boys club. So she made her own suit. She became her own hero. And I think that's fascinating. And obviously, she probably should have stayed at Samurai X. Before I get into my number one pick, I like to take the time to say that if you are a fan of Ninjago, which you probably are, that's why you're watching this video, click that playlist up above for everything Ninjago related that I have on my channel. Also, if you are a fan of the MCU, I am doing an MCU rewatch on my podcast. It's called The Regular Podcast, and that link is always in the description and in the comment section. And we will be uploading Thor Ragnarok on Monday. Without further ado, let's get into my number one. But coming into my number one has got to go to the Lighthouse Battle. This sequence right here is actually... More important to Jay and Nia, but I just feel like this week is right here just 
made me love Nia as a character just a little bit more. Now, obviously, in season six, I just feel like that is Nia's worst season. All she does is just nag all the time. She just became an SJW style character. But in this sequence right here, it shows that Nia is actually willing to work with Jay to achieve their goal. This sequence demonstrates what I love about the Nia and Jay relationship is that they're able to work together and they have great chemistry. I think that Nia confessing her love to Jay in end of this battle is actually the biggest growth in her character because she was just putting a facade on this entire season this sjw stuff she was just putting on a facade because deep down she knows that she still loves jay and through both of them having a glimpse in the future they realize that they belong together and i think it's most evident in nia's case because this is a definitive scene where she has the most character growth so it has to come in at number one Alright guys, that is it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It was just my list and you are free to comment down below your ranking of your top 5 Nia scenes just like me. Or you could just do your favorite. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.